everyone, welcome back to Lone Fox. Drew here, and I am really, really excited for today's new video for you guys. This one is a thrift flip video, and I've done this only one time in the past, which I'll leave a card up here if you guys wanna check that one out as well. Basically what I did was I went to the thrift store, I found lots of items that were just like inexpensive, random things on the shelf, home decor based, and then I basically brought them back home and DIY'd them, make them into something brand new, something really fresh, fun, and trendy, of course, for your space. And I did that again today. I went to the Salvation Army, and I also went to Goodwill, and I found some really great pieces. So I'm in the corner of Goodwill right now, and I found this little mirror here that has like intricate detailing around it. It's $5, and I feel like I can definitely do something with this. Maybe like wrapping string around these sections here. I don't exactly know what I can do, or wrapping cording around this entire thing. I don't know, it'll probably be like a lot of work, but I feel like this can turn into something so much prettier than it is right now. So I'll be perhaps getting it. Hi guys. I recently shared with you guys these like amber glass things that I got at Target. They were like the amber colored glass and I kind of want to recreate the amber glass on just like a traditional glass piece. So this is only $3.99, um, but I feel like I could turn it into something really, really pretty. And maybe something along the lines of this as well. Guys, I'm running to get something that Nastasha should not be getting. It's mine. I already called it. Getting this. So good. These candy jars are kind of cute. Oh, look what I found. This is so chic and vintage and retro. It's $3.99. Little tray options. Came to a new location, the Salvation Army, and checking out some of their stuff. Their lights are actually trendy. Like that green one's worth. Like this whole selection, like the brass with the green, with the pink, with the gray, and the brass again. I kind of love that selection, actually. The mirror right here, I don't know if you guys can see it um, in the background, but that mirror turned out so good. I am so excited for you guys to see that one. And not only that one, but there's also some other really amazing projects in this video that I think you guys are going to love. And I am literally looking at myself on the screen right now, and I am so pale. I'm scared. I'm a ghost. Anyways, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And if you would like your daily dose of DIY, you can follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram where I post brand new sort of home decor, behind the scenes, polls, things like that over on there. So just a little bit more than my YouTube channel. And honestly, let's just dive on in. For this first project, I found this vase at the thrift store. I love the way that it looked. I thought it was so pretty, but it was also very banged up. So I thought I would recreate something new with some stone spray paint, some epoxy, and a paintbrush. So I brought it outside. I brought in a large box. Here's James's foot making its entrance to my video. But what I started off by doing was taking my stone spray paint, and I didn't bother to prime this because I knew I had to do so many layers of the stone spray paint anyways. So I just went ahead and I sprayed it with the stone spray paint, and essentially it kind of just sprays out like speckled black and white dots which is what I really wanted but you can also do a solid color um, you can sand this down and do a stain and do the same exact technique the main technique with this was creating the epoxy part which is exactly what we're doing now so I'm using this two-part epoxy resin I got at Michaels and you can use a half off coupon it's about $15 with a half off coupon but I only use probably one-tenth of the epoxy resin so you get a lot so you're gonna be able to use it again in the future and you're just gonna give each equal measurement a good mixing for about two minutes and then you're going to stir them up together. It's super simple to use this product. I've used it before on my channel before, actually, if you guys remember. Um, and you're going to mix it all up nice and good, and then I just poured it on the bottom half of the vase. And imagine how pretty this would be if you spray painted this vase like brass, and then you poured this epoxy resin, because this resin is going to harden on wherever you put it, and it's going to make it shine so beautifully. It's going to give it such a bright, like, crystallized, glossy finish, which I think looks so pretty. So I used my paintbrush just to make sure all the resin was really spread nicely and evenly across the entire bottom half. And you can really do this to the entire vase if you wanted to, but I just wanted to sort of create um, a more matte top half and then a more glossy bottom half to give some visual interest. But keep in mind that you can do this with a black, matte black chalkboard paint and then put the glossy over the bottom and create like a super striking look. And I set it on top of this little slime just to so it could drip um, off the excess and let it dry and style away.
for the second project, we're using the glass vase that we found at the thrift store for a couple dollars. I'm also using some alcohol ink and paper towel. So if you've never heard of alcohol ink before, it's actually super interesting. I love it. Um, it's great for glass work. So what it is, it's a basically an ink that is made from alcohol. So it dries down super, super quickly. But the thing I love is that it's super buildable and it's also very transparent. So when you put it on glass, it's not going to um, make it so it's not see-through anymore. It just makes it tinted almost. And it's very, I love the way that it looks. So basically there's two methods that I like to use. If you want a very simple color or a very like light coating, I suggest putting the alcohol ink on a paper towel first and then dabbing it on. But if you wanna build it up and make it a little bit more opaque and a little bit more color, Colored, then I suggest putting the alcohol ink directly on the glass and then dabbing it around. The longer you let this product sit on the glass, the more color it's going to take because as it dries, it's just going to dry down that dye in there and it's really going to sit on the surface nicely. The other great thing that I love is that when you put down a base coat and then you add more on top of it, it almost creates these like stained splotch marks as you can see here every time you add an additional layer, which adds to the distress, almost mercury glass vibe of the vase which i think is really amazing like imagine all of the possibilities you can have if you were to create like a rainbow selection of glass with this product it's so pretty i also did the bottom side as well i just coated the entire container with this alcohol ink and i love how quick it dries like this project literally took me maybe five minutes to create and i also did the lid so this is a great way to really create sort of like a knockoff amber glass without having to spend the money on amber glass if you don't want to and that finishes off your container This project is the one I am most excited for and I use my $5 mirror from the thrift store. I also use some hemp cording I found at Michael's and some chalk finish spray paint. So what I started off by doing was flipping over the mirror and pulling up the tabs just to remove it. But if your mirror is not removable, um, just feel free to tape it off or just make it so that the spray paint won't hit the surface of it. Then I brought it outside and my camera wasn't filming when I first started spraying for some reason, but I gave it a good coat of this chalky finish spray paint and I just wanted something nice and matte that kind of coordinated back to the hemp color. So if you want to do a black color or if you wanted to do a different color, feel free to spray it whatever color you want to. But I just did this nice neutral sort of beigey off-white color to start. And then I brought it back inside once it was dry and I used a hot glue gun to glue down this hemp cording on the edge of every single round circle because I essentially want to create almost like a rattan raffia inspired mirror, kind of like the ones that they sell at Anthropology or Urban or sometimes at Target. Uh, I just love the way that these mirrors look. I think that they're so natural, but also very beautiful. And I wasn't a huge fan of this uh, scroll work style mirror with the black to start with. It just was not my cup of tea. I just wanted to make it a little bit more natural, a little bit more anthro, and also a little bit more handmade. And so what I did was I just did small sections of hot glue and then I just glued my hemp cording around. And you guys, this hemp cording smelled so bad. Like I could not even deal with the smell. It smelled like a horse corral times 87. Like it smelled like my hometown. I was so scared, but I just um, glued it around. I dealt with it. It doesn't actually smell anymore. And then once I did the whole entire outside, I also wanted to do a nice sort of focal piece to the center. So I wrapped it all the way around about five times to fill in that entire center section, which I think added such a visually interesting element to this mirror. My suggestion is just to work in small little sections with the hot glue because it does dry pretty quickly. So just do small sections and then move on. This project really took me maybe an hour to make from start to finish, nothing too long at all. And I think the outcome makes it look like a full on $100 anthropology mirror. But the thing that changed the whole shape was I went around the entire edge with one string just to sort of create a brand new, almost square diamond shape. I was not a huge fan of the scroll work. Um, if you do like this, I think it's much more feminine, but I wanted to make it a tad bit more masculine, um, if that's even a thing, by creating a little bit more of an outside edge. And I also think this easily increased the size of the mirror. It just makes it appear a little bit larger. Once I was completely done, I plopped the mirror back in, pushed down all of the tabs, and that finishes off the mirror. I hung it up and I am so happy with the outcome. For my 
my last project, I found this sort of 70s inspire wooden tray. Um, and I also used a little bit of navy paint, white paint, and a couple of paint brushes. So super minimal supplies for this project. What I started off by doing was painting the entire surface of the tray with the blue color. And I had to do multiple coats of this to give it a nice opaque finish. I think it's kind of a little bit challenging. I probably should have sprayed it with like a primer first, but you could do a couple coats if you want to, and you could paint it whatever color you want to. I'm kind of creating a mud cloth pattern. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it was so pretty and I loved the outcome of it. So what I did was I just did multiple coats of the blue paint, but you could also do a white paint, a black paint, whatever you want the surface of your um, tray to be. I decided to do navy blue just because I've really been into that color for home decor lately. Once that blue was all dried down, I used some white paint just to create this mud cloth pattern. And I just found this idea off of Pinterest again. I found the uh, pattern idea off of Pinterest. And I thought it would look so pretty on a tray. So I went ahead and freehanded it on. But I do suggest, if you want to, to maybe put down a couple strips of tape just to guide you in the correct direction because I did kind of go off pattern. But I am going to be placing stuff on top of this tray. So in the end, I wasn't too worried about it being too off pattern because, um, again, like things are going to be covering section so I'm just going to show the side that's a little bit more pretty uh, but I ended up just painting all the way down to the very bottom with the dots the lines and the arrows to finish off the pattern and that completes your little mud cloth inspired tray And that was the video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed it. I know I did. I absolutely love the mirror. Like, that's my favorite one for sure. I also love the other two projects, including the vase and the little um, one that was my bathroom that held the cotton balls. I love that technique for, like, distressing or creating, like, an amber, almost mercury glass style vase. But the one that I wasn't, honestly, the most proud of, and I'm just going to be completely straight up with you guys, was the tray. And I think that was because I saw what it looked like before, and I loved the way it looked like before. But the whole purpose of this video was to, you know, like, flip items from the thrift store so I really honestly kind of like the before more than the after if it was for my own personal space but I just thought I would include it because you know some of you guys might like that idea and you might have a tray that you can easily turn into that that was super boring before that you could easily turn into something a little bit more fun like the one that I did share in the video just gonna be honest with you guys anyways I hope that you enjoyed I hope that you loved today's video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know which project was your favorite in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new videos every single week and you can also follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen once more for you guys. And I think that that's about all. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.